Let's begin with New York State and the city and city leaders speaking out about gun-free zones across the city as Times Square prepares to become one tomorrow. CBS News Elijah Westbrook is live in Midtown where officials made an announcement. He has more on what was discussed. Elijah. Well, Mary and Chris, we just heard about a slew of changes that will be taking effect starting tomorrow morning right here in New York City, some of which we already heard about, including this gun ban in Times Square. But a big emphasis was on educating the public when it comes to these changes in a new campaign, uh, of course, that is expected to educate not only New Yorkers, but those who are visiting the city. Preparations are underway to make Times Square a sensitive area, a term to describe any location throughout the city where it's illegal to carry a gun. As it stands, the city council is banning guns from 40th to 53rd Streets between 6th and 8th Avenues, also from 40th to 48th Streets between 8th and 9th Avenue. We also now know subways, schools, houses of worship, and restaurants, name a few, will be listed under the umbrella of sensitive locations. As governor, my number one responsibility is keeping New Yorkers safe. That's why when it came down to the Supreme Court decision, we were ready for it. This morning, Governor Hochul was joined by Mayor Adams, NYPD Commissioner Sewell, and other city and state leaders to talk about the changes. Adams making note that it does feel surreal. The area is a gun-free zone. Think about that. We have to actually say that in our city. A gun arrest under this law could result in up to four years in prison. For now, no extra cops would be assigned to Times Square, and there will not be checkpoints for people to enter the area. But there will be signs like this one in bold writing stating firearms are prohibited. The new laws and our rules properly balance the licensee's rights with keeping the public safe, which is what we do. The NYPD is the firearm licensor for New York City. And we take this responsibility very seriously. And again, these changes take effect tomorrow, September 1st. And looking even ahead further than that, starting September 4th, Governor Hochul says anyone who is interested in purchasing a firearm must be at least 21 years old. We're live right now in Midtown Manhattan. Elijah Westbrook, CBS 2 News. Elijah, thank you. We have